What's up guys, Canada Twelve here, and welcome back to Tekken 4. We're going to do another story battle today after I decided to do a little break and mess around with King in practice mode. But before we get started on our next story battle run, I realized I forgot to show something that I should have shown when I did my run with Lee Chalon. I forgot to show his second prologue, so... 20 years ago, Lee was expelled from the Mishima Zaibatsu when he betrayed Heihachi and sided with Kazuya at the King of Iron Fist Tournament 2. Thoughts of revenge consumed Lee for a long time, but eventually he realized that it was pointless to kill an old man who probably only had a few years left in his life at best. With that epiphany, Lee distanced himself from fighting and moved to a mansion in the Bahamas to lead a solitary life. Lee was actually kind of right <laughs> with the whole One day, he list. discovered a huge sell-off of G Corporation's stock. Lee's intuition told him that something happened within the company. His intuition was correct. The Mishima Zaibatsu attacked G Corporation and caused significant damage to their research facilities. He also learned that the Mishima Zaibatsu was searching for a critical component needed to complete one of their projects. And there you have it. I know y'all could probably just easily look that up on YouTube, but I just wanted to show it off anyway. I just showed it off somewhere. I should have like edited it in with the uh, Lee playthrough, but I already uploaded that at this point. But it's fine. Welcome to the king. Of Whatever works. Anyway, for today's playthrough, we shall be. Eddie Gordo learned capoeira from a master during his imprisonment. This master had a granddaughter named Christy. While in prison, Eddie swore an oath to him that he would pass on the art of capoeira to Christy. Shortly after returning from the King of Iron Fist Tournament 3, Eddie took Christy under his wing and taught her the art of capoeira, just as he promised. She became an impressive fighter after two years of training. But Eddie left abruptly soon thereafter. Those responsible for my father's death must pay. His words were all that was left behind for Christy. And they still haven't resolved that plot line with Eddie to this day. Troubled by his sudden and mysterious disappearance, Christy pursued Eddie. Alright, our first opponent is Yoshimitsu. Go easy on me. Go easy on me. <laughs> Round one. Fight. Yeah. Eddie made his debut in Tekken 3, but they decided to replace him with Christy in this game. I actually like uh, Christie's voice the most in this game. Like out of all her appearances. Oh. I don't think her voice is as good in, uh, is as good in uh, 5. She comes back in 5, 6, and. Oh, I almost said 7, but no, she actually isn't in 7. Christy actually didn't appear in 7. She was in every Tekken game after her debut here until Tekken 7. Eddie doesn't even mention her. It's just Eddie in Tekken 7. 
Eddie is in this game, though. He's just a pallet swap for uh, Christy in this game. And he'd be a pallet swap for her in uh, 5 as well. It isn't until Tekken 6 where they become separate characters. Actually, no. Uh, Dark Resurrection, they become separate characters. Even though they still pretty much have the same moveset, except for maybe some throws. Their throws are the only things that are different between each other. Whoa! There we go. Look at that kick. Flippity flip! Whee! You win. Huh. Alright, now we got Paul Phoenix. I'm facing all the characters I like. Darn. Oof. Round one. I actually missed this one for Paul. I think I mentioned it before when I played in uh, one of my previous Tekken 4 dudes, but uh, I guess to not really care for... Oh! <laughs> not that guy down. Put that unblockable move. Oh, and I found another guy too. <laughs> Woo! But yeah, I used to not really care for this outfit for Paul too much, but I've gotten used to it now. I like it. I mean, I like it now. Oh no! I think we were, we were both doing a blocking case, but he did his way earlier than I did. You lose. Final round. Fight. Oh, I almost got a perfect. I was just messing around with you, King. I was just in practice mode with you. Same outfit, too. Back then, when I played Tekken, I used to love the grabs a lot. It was like always some of my favorite moves. They're still really cool. Especially with King. Oh, do something different. Hi. Come on, Christy, this isn't Tekken 7. You can do more stuff in <laughs> your victory animations. Round one. Yeah, no. Fight. And now we got Kombat, who is imitating his creator right now. <laughs> oh, the more combos. You win. 
That can, this game gets a lot of flack for being unbalanced, which, in a way, it could be. But, uh, I still love it. Def it's definitely one of my favorite Tekken games. I really hope Tekken 8 takes it. Yeah. I really hope Tekken 8 takes inspiration from this game. Especially in its story. This game has an excellent story. Yeah. Nina. Come on, baby. Show me what you got. Hey, hey, hey. With pleasure, lady. Right. My hands are clipping through the ground. Win. Round two. Fight. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh my goodness, I couldn't hit her. Kazuya. Well, it's a face too. Savaka. Savaka. Round one. Fight. So it's you, the person that I do not know. I know your uh, mentor, maybe. I know your mentor's parents. <laughs> they died like weaklings. <laughs> Oh, my God, this. 
They just destroy the third. They just destroy the statue just by stomping on me. <laughs> that is funny. Round two. Fight. <laughs> animation where she goes, hey, did you hurt yourself? <laughs> probably not, no, probably not anymore. I don't know if you like press this, like press a certain button, you can like, you can, like press different buttons, you can see like different picture animations. I don't tend to do that. As often when I play this. Let's see how you dance, girl. Oh, oh, actually, my other outfit. Cool. Actually, it's uh, it's actually kind of cool that they do that for because uh, in her ending, she actually wears this outfit. So that's with them to maintain accuracy. Oh, I didn't want to do that with you. Oh! I thought I was lucky. 
Talking much during that last fight. Start to concentrate there. Great fight, Christy. Hey, Christy, can I get a shot? Congratulations, Christy. How do you feel? Anyone you want to share this victory with? So tell us, what was the key to your victory? Understood why his arm is in the sling here. What happened to him? Okay, actually, that wasn't as long as I thought it was. It took 23 minutes. So yeah, that was Christy Montero. Christy Montero. However you say her last name. They pronounce it differently in this game. and then I mean, they pronounce it uh, Montero in this game, and then I think they pronounce it Montero in five. I don't know how they pronounce it in six. <clears throat> Montero, maybe, in six, I guess. But thank y'all for watching. Get ready for more Tekken 4 to come. We, I think we've, at this point, we've, no, no, actually, one more character unlocked. One more character. So, have a good day. Take it easy. Stay safe. See y'all next time. Bye.